Odisha, considered as one amongst the economically poorest states in the country, has a predominance of agriculture and allied sectors involving over 75% of its population. Small land holdings, low productivity, stagnation in the level of technology adoption, low investment and subsistence level farming constitute the major attributes of the farming system in Odisha. It is also true that the livelihood of the rural population in the state has not improved significantly over a considerably long period of time. Of the 30 districts in Odisha state, 18 have been identified as disadvantaged districts by the Planning Commission, Government of India, based on agricultural productivity, agricultural wage rate, and the ratio of scheduled castes and tribe population. Thus, in order to develop the three disadvantaged selected districts of Mayurbhanj, Keonchar and Sambalpur in Odisha state, a project was initiated under component 3 of the National Agricultural Innovation Project by the Indian Council of Agricultural Research with effect from April 2009 for providing sustainable livelihood improvement through integrated freshwater aquaculture, horticulture and livestock development. The project was assigned to a consortium of four institutions, that is, the Central Institute of Freshwater Aquaculture, CIFA, the Central Horticultural Experiment Station of the Indian Institute of Horticultural Research, CHESS, the Regional Center of Central Avian Research Institute, and the Center for Development Research and Training, CENDRET. CIFA, CHESS, and CARI have expertise in aquaculture, horticulture, poultry and duck production technologies respectively. While Sindret is a pioneer in social mobilization across various parts of the country. The project aims at improving the livelihood of 3,000 farm families through integrated development of freshwater aquaculture, livestock farming and horticulture. Improving the technical skill of farmers through training and on-farm demonstration of need-based technologies. Promoting creation of self-help groups and the empowerment of existing farmer organizations in order to avail the mainstream facilities and thereby enable them to sustain the activities in the long run and recognizing and promoting gender participation in mainstream activities in the relevant areas of farming. Since agriculture is the primary source of livelihood for the people of the selected three districts, the major emphasis has been on the improvement of farming system, including aquaculture, horticulture and poultry and duck development through technological, institutional and better input support to the 3,000 farm families distributed over 21 villages in eight blocks divided into three agroecological clusters in the districts of Mayurbhanj, Keonchar and Sambhalpur in the state. The Central Institute of Freshwater Aquaculture Bhubaneswar as a lead centre demonstrated scientific carp polyculture in 90 hectares covering 450 ponds in the three targeted disadvantaged districts. With scientific intervention, carp was grown to table size within a period of six months which is considered a significantly higher growth. Successful carp breeding has been demonstrated in farmers' fields by providing 9 FRP carp hatcheries and 112 lakh spawns produced and raised to fingerling size for further stocking in ponds. As a completely new intervention, 
25 ornamental fresh breeding units have been established in three selected districts at the self-help group level. The Regional Centre of Central Avian Research Institute as a consortium partner has adopted 1,172 farm families for backyard poultry and duck rearing as against the target of 750 farm families during the three years of the project period. Successful duck rearing by women's self-help groups in Keonjhar district has also attracted other farmers and self-help groups for adoption of duck rearing in village ponds. The integration of duck and fish has been found very successful. The horticultural interventions proposed by the Central Horticultural Experiment Station include the development of backyard kitchen gardens or baris, as they are commonly called. In horticulture, technological interventions like improved and hybrid seeds and detailed package of practices for vegetable crops were made available to the farmers. 457 farm units have already adopted improved commercial vegetable cultivation for enhanced production levels. Technologies for fruit plants have been demonstrated to approximately 2,000 farm families and more than 17,000 fruit plants have already been distributed to them. As a social development institute, Sendred plays a key role in social mobilization for the creation of an enabling environment for the implementation of the program in villages through motivation for creation of farmer self-help groups of male and female members. Impact assessment was done by Sendret through periodic monitoring and sharing of information during workshops and consortium partner meets, which resulted in the required strategic changes in the program implementation. The holistic technological development achieved through the adoption of aquaculture, horticulture, backyard poultry and duck interventions has not only generated a significant impact on household food and nutritional security in the selected disadvantaged districts under the project, but has also strengthened the rural economy of the region besides alleviating poverty amongst the rural populace.